What's up everyone, my name is Alex, I'm one of the co-founders of MyInvestingClub.com and I wanna let you guys know about something special we're doing for our viewers on YouTube. So the most common question we get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did is we created a free two hour mentorship course for the brand new trader. It's gonna be available at MyInvestingClub.co. The link is gonna be right here. This is a free webinar that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they start. I also wanna let you guys know about something that's very unique to MIC. So if you have any questions about trading or you're curious about trading or you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you, now you can text our head mentor, Tosh, whose number is gonna be right here, and he'll answer all the questions that you have in less than 24 hours. Thank you and enjoy the video. What's up everyone, it's uh, Tom Dizzo here. Um... Hope you guys had a great trading week this week, uh, and also I uh, hope uh, you know you enjoying the weekend as well, and you know with your loved ones or your family. So uh, yeah, the market uh, lately it's, has been you know really hot, uh, especially on the small caps as well, uh, big caps. I don't know, I haven't you know paid much attention to that, but uh, you know small caps. Uh, you've noticed uh, that we've seen so many you know volume coming into the market, right? I mean, the Robin Hood, uh, you know, new traders uh, stepping, you know, before that was could a coronavirus thing. And so there are so many opportunities, uh, you know, each day. And uh, I mean, yes, uh, you know, if you can, you know, take advantage of that, uh, it could be, you know, very blessing, right, to kind of uh, start trading in this uh, kind of time. But if you don't know what you're doing, I mean, you could you know, really lose a chunk of money as well. So that's why uh, in MIC, uh, we always preach about the process. And, uh, you know, it's not about how much you make, uh, but it's how you make it is going to define your your future, right? So it's always comes down to the process. And the process is what's going to get you to where you want it to be. And by sticking to process so that uh, basically the profits uh, will follow after that, right? So, yeah, and uh, <clears throat> today the topic is going to be, uh, I mean, uh, I just did a, a you know, a weekend mentoring with uh, with members uh, today and I've seen a lot of, uh, you know, uh, of the questions uh, repeating over and over again. So I thought, you know, it could be a good idea just to go over it on the video. And today's topic is going to be how to kind of backtest properly or how can you do to kind of improve your trading daily right or it's like how i did it you know and uh you know everyone is different you know if you good with data like joe you can you know have all sort of uh you know excel spreadsheet or like python or whatever but i'm i'm just a normal i'm not like that smart guy so i just trying to kind of find a way how to back test my strategy and uh, to find you know what i'm good at right where I'm, I'm good at and so where i could size up or where i could you know eliminate uh like uh, uh the mistakes that i made in the past and that's you know that's basically what it's all about it's all just about how uh like when, when you have an, an edge right or when you have a playbook right uh, how would you be able to find that edge the only way how uh you would you know uh, know where to look at or you know the only way where for you to know where your edge you know is is by backtesting right you know if you've done the same trade over and over again like you know 100 times 500 times or a thousand times then you have some kind of samples you know to put it in right uh, you know and after a period of time uh, you making uh, like you made uh, you know out of 500 you know a thousand trades uh, you know, and you came up with the conclusion right, all right so i've been you know trading the same setup the same pattern for the last like six months or a year and this is what i get right and uh, and from that you're going to build you kind of uh, you know you're going to build the the plan for for your future trade or like you can see where is the like where the mistakes has been made and so you can improve on them and uh, you know that's basically what uh, I'm I'm doing each day and uh, you know there's no secret to it but it's just like uh I have to kind of stick to my uh kind of process and my edge and uh, trading only those that I know that I've you know been trading before I don't like to try something new 
because that's my you know bread and butter right or that's my setups and and i'm not gonna go uh into much details today about the setups uh because you know a lot of videos have been you know covering that uh, already so uh i'm just gonna stick uh i'm, I'm just gonna show you guys how i usually back test uh you know each day so um each day after you know the trading session is done right uh I went back to see the charts and uh, and usually I have uh, I have them saved somewhere. Yeah, I'm just gonna pull up this one. It's like I label them as like a tickers run before, right? So yeah, this is uh, just a couple of of them and uh, so if you if I click on them, right? So I can see. All right, so BBI I trade on you know 15 or whatever uh, because the idea behind it is that I want to kind of screenshot them and so if you know in sometimes in the future uh they pop it again right so all i did is just you know go ahead and and uh look at this and i just type in the ticker right uh, whatever that might be izia whatever like that is uh and then it, it showed me here so i i can you know easily look at them and how they perform last time so that uh i mean you can do that by in you know by pulling up the chart from from the from the history from uh, TOS right but uh, you know it's just more convenient for me to do it that way and it's like faster and also you know if I have my executions on that already so I knew that I traded this last time and this is how I did right and uh, so that's basically the idea and about the screenshotting I mean you could label them here you know you can put some notes here all right so I short some here I cover down here I call uh, you know short it back here add back to more to, to the winner cover some as stock you know wigs broke this support I added more you know cover you know after that wash and then you know as stocks goes down you know went back like uh, 2 p.m. reversal time you know short back here near resistance uh, you know you can label them as you know whatever you want right basically also this is this is one of the um, this is the, the the screenshot of the chart and also in MIC we have the daily report cat uh, cards right so uh, you know by you know a lot of members uh, are doing it as well so you can put in the date here yeah you can zoom in a little bit here and you can see how they do it I mean you can you know this is a really good way how how to kind of uh, you know do the daily report card and uh, it's I think it's been uh, discuss uh, in SMB capital uh, uh, this is uh, the trading firm in in Manhattan as well and uh, you know it's it's it's, it's really solid uh, kind of a way how to kind of grade yourself on how you did for that day I mean it's just perfect uh, you know and you have a chart saving here but you know <laughs> to be honest I, I was like uh, you know I did that a lot I uh, since uh, in like in the beginning and and now it's more like I'm I'm a little bit lazy with that. So what I all um what I did uh, uh, back then is like I did pretty much the same thing like every day, trying to you know put a goals in in in, in everything you know. And and now uh, lately I've been kind of slacking on that. And I I sh I should have uh, you know like uh, keep doing it as well. So this is a really good way how you can. Uh, how you can back test and also how you can uh, you know kind of uh, wrote uh, whatever I mean you know uh, right after the trade right usually it's, it's the you know the memory is, is really fresh uh, you know you know what was your mistakes here what you did good you know you grade them and you all put the notes here so you know after a month or two after that you can go back and watch the notes right I mean that's how you can improve uh, and, and try to kind of eliminate the all the mistakes that you have done in the past and you know that's that's you know the best way how to do it but uh, if you are lazy like me so you can you know, you know just screenshot a chart and upload it to the trader view whatever uh, trader view uh, is a really good website uh, for you to upload your trades also you know all have the stats and data for you to kind of uh, look at it and uh, you can you know type in the ticker name as well just to search for them and it's uh, you know it's it's convenient as well and uh, yeah so that's what I did you know I'm a lazy guy so I just you know post uh, all my trades there I you know I went back each day or like uh, 
Now, I, I usually kind of look back at the trade every day. And then at the end of the week, you know, I try to sum up the week as well. Sums up, uh, you know, what I've been doing good this week and, you know, day by day and then by the end of the week as well. So, yeah, so screenshot the chart. Uh, I have here some more I can show you guys. I have saved some of Alex chart. This is just a perfect, uh, you know, I kind of copy it from his blog and uh, you see how uh, Alex has been labeling the chart, right? And, you know, took, you know, short here, ridiculously long crowded ticker, hitting daily resistance. And, you know, all the, the you know, pinpoint here that, uh, you know, he trying to explain. I mean, this is just a perfect and that's how you should do it, right? Uh, you know, uh, put a note here so that you know uh, what to look for. I've been saving, uh, you know, some of them because I think it's, you know, it's helpful and I, I just simply like the, the way uh, that he explained, uh, you know, in, in the chart like that. Uh, so I try to use that so I can, you know, see uh, the pattern uh, better. All right, guys. So um, that's it. Have a good one, guys. Take care. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.